There may be some confusion, Dr. Hobbs, um, among people wondering what is the difference between primary and secondary myelofibrosis. Could you describe the, the differences? Sure. Great question. Um, so that term primary and secondary is actually used in medicine very frequently for the description of many, many conditions that are not that different. So primary means a patient has myelofibrosis and did not have any myeloproliferative neoplasm or MPN before their diagnosis. So they went to the doctor and the first diagnosis they received was a diagnosis of myelofibrosis. Now, sometimes we suspect that a patient may have had another MPN previously, such as essential thrombocythemia or polycythemia vera, but they just weren't diagnosed. And what I mean by that is, you know, let's say you meet a patient and you look through their chart and you see that five years ago or 10 years ago, they had really, really high platelets or very high red blood cell numbers. And so there you could say, well, you know, you were never diagnosed with ET or PV, but maybe you had that. And so you probably have secondary myelofibrosis, but the diagnosis, you know, that you come with to the doctor is myelofibrosis. So secondary myelofibrosis means that you had an underlying condition before, meaning you were first diagnosed with one condition like PV, polycythemia vera or ET, and then those conditions turned into myelofibrosis. And then we call that secondary myelofibrosis, meaning it is secondary to the primary condition, being ET or PV. One area of confusion um, that I'd like to be able to clarify also related to this is, if a person has secondary myelofibrosis, they don't have two myeloproliferative neoplasms or two conditions. It is one and the same. They just live on a spectrum and over time, they can turn into um, one, one into the other. So it's not that you now have two diagnoses. It's still the same condition. It's just morphed a little. 